Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. Okay, in today's video, what I'd like to talk about is changing the network setup on a server, a Ubuntu server, from dynamic host configuration protocol. So how that works is the server asks the router for an IP address. It might get a different IP address every time the server is booted. This is called dynamic host configuration protocol. Now let me tell you what I have set up here. I've got a laptop that runs Windows 10. On that I have VirtualBox, which, which is virtualization software. And on top of that, I've, I've set up a number of guests. They're all Ubuntu server 24.04. And what I'm doing is I'm using this to build uh, software using PHP. So today, uh, what I want to talk about is how to convert to a static IP address. Uh, so let's get going. Okay, so I've already logged into the, the server. And so I'm gonna find out what the IP address is because remember, this, this got an IP address from the, the router. So let's type in IP space A and hit enter. Okay, and if I look at this, it tells me two things. And the first thing I wanna talk about right now is the IP address is 192.168.1.113. Okay, let's see if we can go to PuTTY and log in with that. Okay, so here we go. Get PuTTY going over here. Put this over there like that. Uh, and, and so what I'm gonna do is it said the IP address is 113. So I'm going to type in 0.113. Now I've been using PuTTY, so as you can already see the host name or IP box right there, and I'm typing and I put my username, which is Keith, an at sign and the IP address of this particular uh, instance. So I'm gonna hit enter. Bam, it says, uh, are you sure you want to do this? I say, accept it. Okay, so it already has my username because I told it what my username was and now it wants me to, to log in. Okay, I just set up this server. So I know the IP address, there we go. Let's clear. Okay, let's do that one more time. IP space A, enter. Okay. This tells us a couple of different bits of information, but it basically tells us our IP address, which we already know what it is. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I want to update all the packages on the package manager. So I type in sudo, which means I have uh, access to everything on the server. I'm the super user when I am in sudo. So I'm going to type sudo apt update. It asked me for my password because I'm sudo. Okay, now it's going to start working. And what it does is it updates the, the packages that are set up on the computer. And that way it knows if it's up to date or if it needs to update some package. So this takes a minute or two. Let's see, here we go. Okay, so it says there's 41 packages can be upgraded. So let's clear and let's type in sudo again. Apt and then upgrade and what that's going to do it's going to install the all the upgrades to this software and what does it say the following packages will be upgraded it gives you a list and then it says uh do you want to do this and we're going to say yes so i hit enter it's going to take a while and i'll come back when it's done Okay, so the upgrades have completed. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this. And I have another command I wanna enter, which is sudo to make me the super user. And then I'm gonna type in apt, which is the package manager, and then auto remove. What auto remove does is it removes any old packages or kernels or any stuff like that. 
and there's nothing to remove. This is a brand new install, so uh, if there would be something, it would be pretty minor. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Okay, we need to we need to install one more uh, package, and that's the net tool. You really don't need it for this, but I'm going to show it anyway. sudo apt install and it's net tools. Okay, let's hit enter. Okay, it's done installing. And so let's clear again. Okay, this has installed quite a few utilities. We're not gonna talk about any of them. There's just one of them that we're gonna uh, use that comes with the net tools. And this is the same thing as, it, it's gonna give the same information pretty much as if you did the IP space A, you get your IP address and you, the name of your uh, net, network device. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna use IF config and hit enter. Okay, it gave me a lot of information. Let me show you what it told me though. It's very important. You wanna know what this is right here? What I've just highlighted, ENP0S3. That's your network device. And then we go down, uh, okay, so here we go, right there. Uh, 192.168.1.113 is our IP address. Now we haven't done any configuration on this, so we're still in a dynamic uh, allocation for the IP address. Okay, so now we're gonna get this off and running. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the, the net plan, okay, for, for this particular software. So I'm gonna go sudo by, which is my editor, and then I'm gonna go etc tab, and then I'm gonna type in net, net p, and then I'm gonna hit the tab, it's gonna auto-complete, and now there's only one file in, in this directory, so I'm gonna hit tab again, and it's gonna give me this file to edit. So I'm gonna click on it. Let's look at this. This is dynamic DHCP uh, configuration. So let's look at this. It says this file is generated from information provided by the data source. Changes to it will not persist across an instance reboot. So that means if you shut down the server and you start it again, it's gonna revert back to what it was. It's gonna revert back to what it has right here. I've copied the configuration to notepad. Let me open it up there's the file we're in right now and show you so that all this information right here in notepad is what you see in the configuration file so i'm going to move this back over here let's move stuff around a little bit okay i like putty because it gives me the opportunity to move things around a lot easier than trying to use the the shell that's built into the server. Uh, it just, it doesn't give me what I want. So anyway, so here's that information and what here's what we need it to be. And now I've written an article. I'll put a link below that will uh, explain all of this. Uh, it's kind of a lengthy artic article. There's a lot of information there you want to know. Real quick before I get started, I want this IP address right here, 192.168.1.83. Now these right here are Google's uh, DNS servers, you can put your own in there. And this is my gateway, you're gonna have to put your gateway in there. So let's cut this, let's just copy it. Copy, let's go over here. Now we have to go to insert mode, remember that? Now if you've been following me, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna hit I, because I'm using Vi. So I, you see it turns to insert. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete all this stuff. I could have actually done it with another command, but I'm just gonna make it easy and just delete it all. We don't need any of this. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that like it is. Make sure I've copied all of this. I'm gonna go back, go back over here. There we go. I just pasted it in. Hit escape and a colon, uh, a, a W for write, and a, a Q for quit. So enter. Now let's go look at that again just for the fun of it. Uh, okay, so it's there. That's our new configuration. My new IP address is going to be 192.168.1.83. We're going to remember that. Everything else is uh, what I said it would be. So let's go ahead and quit out of the editor. And now we want to go over to... Remember it said we needed to edit a file and I'll just grab the 
the whole thing right here. This is a file with the path. And then uh, let's clear this. Now I want to do uh, sudo because I want to have all privileges. Y is my editor. And then I'm going to right mouse click with my mouse and press enter. And that's an empty file. So we press I for insert mode. And then we grab this next line right here because that's what it said to do. Put that in there. It's going to disable this from being able to overwrite itself. Um, so I right mouse click. I guess I didn't get it in there, did I? Let's try that one more time. Okay. Let's see what happens now. There we go. We're going to hit, hit the escape key, a colon, W for write, the Q for quit, enter. And we have actually just converted this to static. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's still working. Let's see what it says. Uh, IPA. And it says my, it still has a dynamic IP address in there. 192.168.1.13. Okay, so let's clear. Get all this out of the way. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to say uh, sudo, because we want to be the super user sudo net plan try it's going to test your configuration in the past when i've done this it actually uh, updates okay what happens we just lost our shell so let's close this and open another one yes let's close it okay let's go find putty we don't need this open anymore let's call it putty come on buddy okay we're on uh, 192.168.1.83 let's see what happens Bam, there we go. Okay, it says, I haven't seen you before. Should I trust you? Blah, 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 blah. I already gave it the, the username, so it knows it. So all I need to do is enter my password. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's clear this. Let's say IP space A, and it tells me my IP address is now 192.168.1.83. Okay. It's actually done what it's supposed to do. There was another command, uh, and I'll show it to you. sudo net plan apply. Since I'm the sudo user and it doesn't know uh, who I am, I need to give it my password. Bam. Okay. So the way we did it, it probably, it, it, it just applied it. Uh, and that's why we had to get a new connection opened up because the old connection was on the old IP address and changed the IP address of the server. Uh, the, the connection didn't work. It broke it. So we had to open up a new shell and do a new connection. So now we're here. Uh, so let's go IP space A, and it gives me everything I need to know right here. Bam, there it is right there. Okay, I want to show you one more thing. Okay, let's clear this, and I want to show you something. You can get yourself in a little bit of trouble here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the configuration file. Now see, it's all nice. Everything's lined up really, really, really good. Okay, so I am going to get something out of line and, and it's going to bark at me. Um, okay, so I don't know if I need to insert. I'm going to insert anyway. I'm going to do a delete and a delete. Okay, I took two spaces out of that, hit enter. Now let's say uh, sudo net plan, uh, we could say apply or we could say try. Let's try. Uh-oh, is it gonna give me a, oh yeah, it did. You may wanna keep your settings before, okay. Um, yeah, bam, let's, oh, okay. It didn't give me any problem. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to that file, and I'm going to align it with that. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. This is the error I wanted to show you. It says it gives you the path, and it gives you the file. And it says, error in network definition, expected 
mapping, check, indentation. That's the error I was looking for. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, go up here to this one. Okay, so see that's not indented right. And you may find yourself having that kind of error. So this is actually supposed to be four spaces. Did I give it four? Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, beep. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, escape, write and quit. Okay, let's try uh, pseudo net plan apply. Okay, boom, it fixed it. Okay, so basically all it said was that uh, the way the file was configured, there was something that wasn't uh, indented correctly. It gave you the, it gave an error. It told you what wasn't indented correctly. You go on, you look at it, you indent it, uh, indent it, and then you're off and running. And so we've had success. We've changed our IP address from uh, dynamic to static. And I've written an article that I'm gonna post on my blog. I'll leave a link below so that you can, um, you can read the article. I would suggest reading the article. It's got more information in it. It might add some clarity. And so uh, you can use it to cut and paste. It makes it a lot easier than having to type everything in. So anyway, we've had success. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment and subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link and you'll want to subscribe because there's some information I'm going to let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.